everybody welcome back to tech odyssey so i wanted to take a minute to show off some of the capabilities that the samsung galaxy note 20 ultra has as a vlogging camera so a lot of people are really into vlogging it's not really my thing so much but if you like to do it then this is the perfect phone i think to do it because it has a robust set of camera qualities and capabilities as well as for the audio stuff which is pretty much what you need it's a one-stop shop and then of course you see here I'm waving around, I've got the stylus in my hand. This makes it great. I have the camera set up on a selfie stick stand right now in the bed of my truck. So I've got that going on. Uh, it doesn't have a gimbal. I wish I had one with a gimbal, but the problem with these large phones and gimbals is they're kind of too big for them to work properly. Uh, I've dealt with that before. But first of all, when it comes to the camera quality, and of course being able to control it with this, because you can press the button to start recording, you press the button to stop recording, you can double press it to flip it from front to back. That's really neat, that's very helpful, especially when you don't wanna be holding everything in your hand and constantly having to reach up and touch the screen and playing these numbers, so that's really cool. But with the video, you get up to 4K at 60 frames per second on the front facing camera, which is really something else. I mean, to be able to get that in a smartphone, I think is really impressive. And on top of that, when it comes to the rear camera, you can get up to 8K at 24 frames per second, 8K. That is absolutely insane that you can get that from a phone because just to have a regular camera that will do 4K at 60 frames per second is not cheap. But to be able to have a phone that you can record from, you can edit your pictures from, you can edit your video on if you have a, an app to do it, and you can upload straight to the internet and then make your phone calls, do all your messaging, whatever else, that's really something. And then it's also great because if you want to get stuff off of the phone and work on, on your computer, you can just plug a USB drive with USB-C into the bottom. That's what I do all the time with a, uh, I have an SSD hard drive, or you can do it with one of those adapters where you can plug in an SD card, all that cool stuff. So really great there, but 4K on the front, 8K on the back, and then you have really, really great sound. And I'm recording this with the microphone that's in the phone, just so you can kind of see how good it is. That way you don't have to have like a lapel mic, you don't have to worry about an external microphone, this does it all. And then if you go into pro mode, the great thing about the S20 Ultra is it has omnidirectional sound. It has really good microphone pickup, like solid. I I'm really, really impressed with it, especially since I've been recording some clips with it. When you go into pro mode, you can set it up to where you can keep it on omnidirectional sound. You can also do where you have front facing sound or rear facing sound, or you can connect it to where you can use it with Bluetooth. So you can use your Samsung Galaxy Buds Live Ta-da, these guys right here as a Bluetooth lapel mic, which works out great because if you need to get on here, step back, you know, get out of the frame, whatever, then you still continue to be able to talk and record while you're doing your video. So that's really cool as well. But the only limitations you have there, pro mode only works in um, on the primary shooter. It doesn't work with the front facing selfie camera. You can only do it while doing primary video recording and it has to be in pro mode and there's an option in there where you can change the microphone feedback and I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that for you now. So this is what it sounds like when you use the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live as your Bluetooth microphone. Like I said a minute ago you can go into the Pro Video settings and you can connect your earbuds and then use those as a microphone. It's really a nice feature because it gives you so much more flexibility. It's a nice added capability that you can use, especially from a vlogging perspective or somebody who's a content creator that uses their phone for everything, which is something that I did for years. I went to CES back in January of this year, back when you could still travel around and the world was still relatively normal. And I had to have all these wires. I had a lapel microphone set up, all sorts of crazy stuff. And it was a pain in the butt. And this, I would have absolutely killed for this. Now let's go ahead and demonstrate how well they work at a distance. So right now, I'm probably about a good eight feet away from the camera. I'm gonna keep stepping back, hopefully not get run over in the street because I'm gonna pay attention while I do this, but I'm probably a good 20 feet away now, which I mean, I think it's pretty good to demonstrate this. I mean, we can go even out a little bit farther. So I'm out halfway in the middle of the street now. Like I said, my camera's in a selfie stick sitting in the back of my truck. So this is just to give you a feel for what the audio experience is like if you switch over and use the Galaxy Buds. Um, I think you can use other earbuds for it, but I haven't tested that out yet. Um, 
it just says Bluetooth. It doesn't specifically say Samsung Bud, so it should work, I feel. Uh, and then here, like I said, the, the microphone quality is not as good as the pickups that are on the phone, because the microphones that are built in the phone are like really, really good. They've got directional audio, they've got zoom audio, all that cool stuff. This right here is just one added layer of capabilities that you get, because when you're out shooting like this, if you want to go out, if you're a solo photographer, you're a solo content creator, you don't have somebody to carry the phone for, you don't have somebody to carry all your gear, you don't have a way to plug in all your stuff, all you need is a phone and your earbuds, and you're good to go, and you can go you know, shoot whatever you want and not lose out on the ability to do anything, especially when it comes to your phone. You don't need a, to carry a phone with you. I mean, you don't need to carry a camera with you. You don't have to carry all this external stuff, no extra batteries. You've got a built-in 4,500 milliamp battery and then carry the earbuds you got your stylus hit the button and start recording and you're good to go so i think that's really impressive so the last thing i want you to be able to see here uh, again i'm holding this on a selfie stick i don't have a gimbal i don't have anything that's going to reduce any of you know the choppiness any of the bouncing this from walking around other than i do have the uh, image stabilization on for the video so this will give you a feel for not only one, what the native microphone sounds like built into the camera, but also as we're walking down the street, you can also get a feel for how well it works uh, with image stabilization. This is on 1080p at 60 frames per second, and I'm gonna have to go ahead and go inside because it's starting to rain on me uh, while I'm doing this. So, ta-da, there you go with the video test footage. What we have right here is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra live focus mode. What it does is it allows you the same thing that focus or you know, live focus for your pictures do, uh, does. You get the bokeh effect, which is really good because it shows it on here while you're recording on the fly. This isn't like whenever you take a picture with some phones and then you get that post processing where it looks fine, but then after you do the image processing, you get that bokeh application. This right here, does it in real time while you're recording so i happen to think that this is pretty darn impressive and a really cool feature i think a lot of people are going to be really happy about this and it works super smooth it's not like it's choppy it's not like there's any stuttering any lag this is real time while i'm recording right now so i gotta say job well done on this one samsung all right so what do you think not too shabby huh I tried to get as much footage in there as possible. We test out the selfie. We tried it with the Bluetooth earbuds. We tried it showing off the stylus and some of the things that it can do. I'm sorry, I did try to shoot 8K footage, but uh, I tried to get it in my video editor. I used Final Cut Pro on my MacBook, but it showed up as a black screen and audio. So I don't really know what happened there, but it does shoot 8K at 24 frames per second. Uh, we did talk about that and, and showed it off a little bit inside the uh, the menu there, but Overall, I think it's pretty clear to see that this is the front runner and the best option available for vlogging in the smartphone world out in 2020. You've got the stylus, you've got the availability to use Bluetooth earbuds, uh, so you can not have to worry about carrying around a lapel microphone. You can do everything one-stop shop with this phone, and it does it really well, especially if you saw in the recording footage, the microphone feedback sounds really good. And the selfie camera is great in that live focus with the selfie camera as well. So you get the bokeh effect in real time while you're recording. I think it's pretty top notch. So that's all I've got. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here and I'll see you guys next time.